Well, what would you think if I told you the most erotic Batman ripoff was made by Turkish filmmakers? I think very few people can make an objection about this sentence. Especially, very small number of cinephiles experienced this interesting masterpiece. I will not hesitate to make this incorrect claim. Whatever it is, we have a more remarkable movie than Batman and Robin here. Even if we talked about the superhero movies created in Turkey previously, I still have a couple of things to say. In fact, in many ways, we see productions made of original ideas with limited opportunities. Just like Three Giant Man, aka Turkish Avengers movie, although it was the first time that Spider-Man was seen in theaters. It brought Captain America and Spider-Man together for the first time. On top of that, Spider-Man appears a villain. <laughs> Iron Claw, Superman, Zago, Phantom and more. Such examples of enriched variations. Now we know that when we see the label of cunt film in a movie, it's not hard to guess that we will see the fantastic contents and dimensions of the production. So, for this particular reason, seeing a heated Persian scene right after intro should not be a surprise at all. On the other hand, Turkish Batman is also a very generous movie with massive adult content. Okay, the contribution of the Italian Batman variation to the cinema is important in this regard. However, it can't be said that the name of the movie is determined to its content. In some sources, the movie was named Batman, Yurasa Adam when it's translated literally. In some other sources, Superman, huh? And it was named as Batman. Wait, so weird. Yes. When it's translated literally as bad man, I would like to refer the upcoming speculations in years following the relationship between Batman and Robin to this interesting translation. Ooh. Well, this is also interesting. There is a city called Batman in Turkey, uh, Batman actually, so it could be another reason for the deep love we have for Batman. Who knows? Well, despite my horrible jokes, you carry on watching this video. Okay, I love you all fellas. By the way, in 2008, the mayor of the city named Batman sued Christopher Nolan for using the name without permission. Well, okay, that's why I love this amazing country, okay? I know, I know, it's much worse than my jokes, but unfortunately, it's true. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, eh, eh. Aha, and I thought my jokes were bad. Therefore, it shouldn't be surprising that such a fantastic adaptation came out from such a fantastic country, huh? Look at this. This is surely the most original Batmobile you will ever see. Moreover, it has a plate. Well, I would like to draw extra attention to this first person chase and also a car tracking camera too. In this movie, Levan Checker, who appeared in a role of Bruce Wayne, is one of sought-after superhero persona of Turkish cinema. In this respect, we can consider him as Turkey's Ryan Reynolds or Chris Evans, Free Superman at the Olympics, Revenge of the Phantom or Zagor movies. These movies are the most important proofs of Levan Checker's superheroic skills. Okay, if we see the same bald guy as a superhero adaptation for the second time in a movie and this time if he is in a DC adaptation, well, we can now call this guy Lex Luthor in Mind at Peace. Okay, let's leave the joke. The villain acted by master actor Altan Gumbay, we can see him such a long time on the screen. 
The presentation of the concept of superheroism with erotic aesthetics is ordinary for the particular period in Turkey cinema, especially Superman Among Women and Crazy Girl and Three Super Guys movies are important productions that came to mind when we talk about erotic superhero movies. In this time, music was borrowed from James Bond movies, but Bond's influence wasn't all about its music. Surely, the mysterious villain's interest for cats can be linked to Bond's cult villain character. Ernest Stauro Blofeld. Since Thunderball, Blofeld has been one of the strongest villains in the James Bond series. I am Ernst Stavro Blofeld. In this movie, we see Batman and Robin as insurance officers. Also, story has some plenty of twists. That's in this movie were also associated with this insurance situation. Okay, I understand that Bruce Wayne is highlighted by his playboy side, but it's also thought-provoking that he sleeps with every woman he saved and doesn't seek for any quality of them. We see lots of breasts in this movie. Maybe we should be thankful by remembering that we mostly see the nipples in Batman and Robin movies. Okay, I don't want to talk about these costumes again, alright? In this movie again, we see Batman in strip clubs more often than his Batcave. It's true that he prefers to have sex rather than fighting, obviously. We can accept them all, but what about Batman killing a man with a bloody gun? What? Look, it's a little hard to accept. It's also so sad not to see bat ears on mask, okay? Well, this film, which came out on theaters seven years after the original one, is a very sharp Batman adaptation with Adam West's appearance also leading up TV series with Lily Martinson's contribution. Actually, it's a massive ripoff, we can say it, but we better not to miss another important situation. Yes, I'm talking about television series become serial by Columbia in 1942. Thanks to Batman for animated movies, comic books, strip stories and television series at that time. Batman had a huge fan base in Turkey, of course. Producers also saw this potential and quickly served this movie accordingly. Well, okay, let's face it and after close the case. By this means, we have seen this interesting mockbuster example still were to be discovered after all those years. Well, this is the end of the bad case and thanks for watching fellas.